guys welcome back to my channel and here I am on board of the on the NT 1100 and what an excellent machine this one is this is basically the on the filling a gap they had on this category and uh, they thought well we do have a nice engine on the Africa twin we have a nice frame on the Africa twin why not use all those things and make a sport tourism motorcycle and fill the gap that we had and they decided to release this one and I'm glad they did because the motorcycle it's super interesting there are things I a uh, couple of things I don't like but 95% um, of the things on the, on the motorcycle are uh, top notch uh, we'll, we'll get there uh, in a while uh, first thing the sport it's a sport tourism like I said uh, my country I think it will be available in three colors uh, this gray which I have here a black and the uh, a white one and you, you will have a travel pack for this motorcycle which includes a top case a bag for the tank uh, headlights extra headlights and a more comfortable seat this one I'm riding it already has a, a top case of course you can buy it without buying all the pack you can buy the things separately this one comes with the top case which is good 50 liters capacity gives me a lot of uh, storage along with the side with the side bag so I can travel and do all the things that I like with this motorcycle without having to worry if I where I can put or what things I can carry so those are the things I like one thing I really don't like on this motorcycle and I'm gonna stop here a little bit my here a little bit on the front I'm gonna stop here just to show you which is basically this front windscreen okay it is big it is wide it does it protects as it is supposed but the thing that I hate I'm gonna show you it's manually adjusted okay so we do have to go out of the motorcycle change the windscreen position and then put it back on the on the higher position which is the one and I, I, I like it has five positions but as you can as you saw I had to go out of the motorcycle to do that if I wanted to change the position another thing it's not keyless it could be keyless uh, nowadays it would be uh, very interesting since I'm here and we are stopped I'm going to talk to you about the handlebar because there are lots of buttons better talked while we are stopped uh, so high beams low beams this is to accept an, uh, uh, calls function button uh, it's uh, just volume there favorites up down enter return we have a horn hazard lights blinkers left and right and we do have the minus and the minus here sorry and the plus button there for the for riding especially in a manual mode but you can also use it in a, uh, automatic and I'll talk to you about that in a while handbrake here here we have a function button where we have the heated grips most motorcycle comes with heated grips we press function and then we use this one to adjust the intensity and then the turn on turn on the automatic lights and the last version okay back to the volume here well I'm not I'm not paired with Bluetooth so that's why in, I'm not, you're not gonna see anything kill switch started off the motorcycle this one is the DCT version so we do have the buttons for the neutral drive and sport mode and let's do we do drive and drive we go in sport and sport we have three levels of sport okay and back to drive and if you want manual you can do it manual then you use the plus and minus buttons cruise control and the button to st set and reset and resume the cruise control and basically about the handlebar uh, that's it mirrors good visibility I like it 99% or 95% so they doesn't shake very much it's clear what's uh, what's behind me here 12 volt 12 volt socket on this side on the other side it's a USB here a mini display here so it gives you the speed total kilometers and the the gear I'm gonna put this in neutral I don't need I'm stopped and then we have this beautiful screen which has all the information it's exactly the same screen as you have on the Africa twin okay 
we have the riding modes which are tour and then uh, urban rain user one and user two okay uh, it, it passed quickly but we have urban and then urban one okay on the tour we have all this display which has all the information which is traditional on the motorcycle here we have the information for trip one and if you press this button to the side we change the information for trip two another to the side Cons instantaneous consumptions range battery voltage the date and last one you can ch you can change the level of the traction control okay it has three levels you choose which one you want power engine brake and traction control basic this is this is the touring mode one thing this screen is it's touch so you just press it with your fingers and then you can continue using the fingers or you can use the buttons so if telephone uh, media definitions this is the one i want to show you you press definitions press enter on this side function press enter right right uh, riding modes press enter user one user two and here you can select the level of power and engine brake for each mode go you press back you press back the rest uh, cancel the, the blinkers uh, uh, i don't uh, don't want to see anything about that then we have screen press enter presentation mode press enter and then for each the riding modes you can choose which screen it shows for that riding mode basically that's what you do here the contrast the, it's automatic the brightness of the it's automatic uh, what else nothing interesting here then it's general which should be the services data units volumes yeah exactly nothing in language okay and service i don't care about the service bluetooth where you connect with your bluetooth service that you have activated so there's a lot of information that you can use this is not to show you how to man to manage that it's just to show you that you can do that then you go to informations uh, trip informations and press enter and you are back to this menu and i do like to have this on this one here and uh, good thing about this this thing like is like you saw it has bluetooth so you can connect with uh, apple carplay and android auto and have all the information being shown there on the screen and now that we've seen all of that we're gonna go for a ride on this beautiful motorcycle it is uh, i'm riding the heaviest version of them which is the dct it's 10 10 kilograms heavier than the the normal so let's let's call it normal okay the standard one uh, but once you are uh, on the street and on top of it and you start riding it is very maneuverable uh, like every motorcycle nowadays uh, it's heavy okay yes it is heavy uh, but uh, it's not hard to park it's not hard to ride uh, so i don't understand why most of people complain about the weight of the motorcycles and i do like dct over uh, manual gearbox as you can see i'm i'm just uh, giving throttle it takes care of the, the the gears going up and down but you can also even you driving in automatic you can also use the minus and plus button here on the side to uh, engage gears sooner than what the automatic does okay which is a really interesting thing another thing if you are riding in uh, manual mode let's suppose you are in sixth gear and then you start slowing down and you forget to 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 go press the buttons to put the gears down the motorcycle will automatically do that for you the same way okay even if you are in a riding automatic if you are riding manual the motorcycle doesn't let you stall uh, the engine which means you are always safe with this beautiful piece of machinery <laughs> and then Look what this beautiful 1100 engine can do. Wow! <laughs> they have a really nice sound. Then we do have the suspensions. They are really good, the suspensions on the motorcycle. 
uh, okay they are not electronic they are not the top notch and everything but they are show suspensions and they do and for the purpose that they have they are designed they do their job don't complain too much people okay I know uh, other brands have more more electronic and more advanced suspensions but this one it is okay it works uh, I will I will not complain the brakes also work which is good and they work really good they have a really nice a really nice grip I wanted to come here to try the the highway and there is an accident accident over there in the head but now there is nothing I can just give you throttle and not worrying about anything and you guys can enjoy this journey with me and here we go Woo! <laughs> no effort at all this was just a little bit throttle to see how she behaves she can reach speeds to up to 170 180 or even more if you want but this is not the purpose of my channel it never was i just wanted to show you uh, that without any effort with this engine with this 100 uh, horsepower you can have uh, nice speeds on a uh, on a flash like just like this and there we go another thing uh, before i forgot to mention this is the it does have the emergency brake lights which means that uh, whenever i do hard stop it automatically uh, turns on the blinker so the guys behind you know that something uh, was wrong uh, i just remember that and before i forgot to mention uh, there it is then it likes to curve look at this Ooh, here we go baby <laughs> and go to this side and then we lean on to this side again <laughs> and the motorcycle it's super fun it does everything well i'm all, i'm all, always already used to automatic motorcycles my personal motorcycle it's automatic so i don't complain too much many people don't like it i think it's because they didn't try it and they didn't see the real potential of it uh, because they said they are not in control of the motorcycle which is not true because we can control when the gears go on and uh, off with the plus and minus button so we are always in control just like go just like this <laughs> just because i wanted to have a little bit fun with the motorcycle uh, comfort wise i'm riding the traditional tradi we're gonna call it traditional the standard the one that comes with factory the seat is the standard but uh, i i tried it the uh, i tried or i touched on the, on the another motorcycle that had the comfort seat and the there is a big difference between the both of seats so if you can if you want a little bit more pleasurable ride go find the comfort seat for this on and you will have a more interesting ride the riding position it's okay all my legs are protected against the wind so we have nice protection is on the fairing with the deflectors underneath nothing touches my my shoes which is nice my hands with the heated grips which i have now because it is sunny but it is cold and i'm also test driving or test uh, well i'm all, i'm testing these gloves okay and they are from bullet and uh I need to have the heated grips on so keep my warm my hands warm uh, so it is what it is and uh, I, I lost my what I was thinking about uh, I forgot then let's go let's move on and enjoy the motorcycle which is what you guys want to see so one down and one up yeah, look look at the look emergency brake lights there see they come on they came on again I just wanted to show you and I just showed you let's go back and do the same thing the other way <laughs> because I can okay third gear one down see I'm controlling when the gears go and I can control when they come down again I'm using these buttons and I'm still driving uh, riding in D mode I can change to manual and now I'm gonna show you the other example which is 
I'm gonna go okay I go here now fourth gear fifth gear and I'm not gonna change anything okay I'm riding in manual and I'm gonna slow down getting closer to the roundabout and it changed for fourth and it changed for third now the, the machine did everything alone <laughs> this is technology that uh, very far ahead and I haven't seen it in any other brand and now we are going to watch the specs of the motorcycle Before we continue, I just want to remind you something about the, the colors that are available, at least in my country, which are three, this gray, black and white. Now the specs. On the front we do have this windscreen, which is adjustable manually, like I said, five positions, which has a course of 164 uh, centimeters. Then we do have the upper and lower wind defenders. The fairings on the front resemble the XADV, which as you can see, all the lights are LED with dynamic running light, suspensions from Showa with 43 millimeters with a course 150 millimeters with uh, adjustment with preload, two discs 310 millimeters, ABS and traction control on the motorcycle, the aluminium rims 17 inches with the tires, the Metzeler Roadtech 120-70. And we're going to talk about the rear of the motorcycle where you can see we have these uh, side cases and a top case. Top case is a nasty 50, li 50 liter storage and these side ones 32 and 33 liters accordingly. So we do have a lot of storage capacity and once you open each case you will find inside a travel bag where you can put everything inside here, put inside the compartments, close them, and when you reach your destination, you don't have to take this off, you just take, pick up the bag and continue your journey. So, very thoughtful of Honda. Then, the tail lights, everything, it's full LED, like in the front. We do have a swing arm in aluminium. Suspension from Showa, 150 millimeters, course with uh, adjustment with preload. One disc, in this case, 256 millimeters. ABS. The same rims uh, as in the front, 17 inches rims, with exactly the same tires, the Metzeler Rotec, but in this case the 180-55. The sole of the motorcycle, like I said, it's exactly the same as the Africa Twin. In this case, it's a 1,084cc uh, engine, uh, two-cylinder parallel, four-stroke, liquid-cooled. It has 100 horsepower at 7,500. 104 newtons at 6,250 and as you can see, uh, I've told you I'm riding the DCT version but you can also find it, uh, this one in the normal version with the six-speed gearbox. Something that they share uh, in common, they both have the transmission which is same and we do have a central stand in both of them. Regarding the seat height, we are talking about 820 millimeters okay for me tall guy it's easier to go on top of the motorcycle as i'm going to show you right now i just pass my leg to the other side and as you can see i still have a nice bend on my leg to reach the floor so i do not have any issues between my legs uh, tank 20.5 liters which is nice which gives you a range about 350 kilometers with the motorcycle uh, Onboard computer, it says spending around 6 liters every 100 kilometers. So it is okay for the, for the weight of the motorcycle, which this one is the DCT version, it's the, the most heavy, 248 kilograms. The manual version, uh, 238 uh, kilograms. 
it is, uh, it is what it is. I'm just here to present you the motorcycles and also to present you my, my partnership with CarTrack, the GPS tracker for your motorcycle. There's a link in the description that offers you the first month free. It only works in, uh, in Portugal, but it's the best uh, I can do. And also to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you receive my future videos, follow my other networks, leave your comments down below because your friend is going to enjoy this motorcycle this weekend with this sunny day. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!